Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, let us handle question. To program us to accept the two integer matrix that is R cross C integer matrix and swap before that we should print minus one if the sum of matrix one is equal to equal to the sum of matrix two so if the sum is equal means we have to print minus one otherwise we have to swap any one integer from matrix one and matrix two at the same position and find whether the sum of the matrix is equal to equal to the sum of the matrix two and if it is satisfied then we have to print the integers that has been swapped we have also given a note that if there are more than two swaps then we have to take the first swap integers if there is no possibility then we have to print minus one so first we are going to accept the two or cross integer matrix then we have to print minus one if the sum of matrix one is equal to equal to the sum of matrix two otherwise we have to swap any one integer from matrix one and matrix two at the same position and find whether the sum of matrix one is equal to equal to the sum of matrix two if it satisfies then we have to print the integers swap then the note is if there are more than two swaps work then we have to consider the first swap integers so more than one swaps this will then if there is no possibility means we have to print minus one so let us take our first test case if we have two cross two matrices and their sum is 55 and here also it is 55 so since their sum is equal we are going to print minus one as the output so no swap required here now we'll take our another test case so here we have the two cross two matrices and here the sum is 12 and here sum is 8 so they are not equal so now we are going to perform the swap operation so we'll swap the first index position that is 1 and 3 has been changed so now we can see that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10 and 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 is also 10 so now they have become equal so we are going to print the integers swapped that is 1 and 3 so now in case we consider so we'll replace the same for example in case we are going to change this index that is this 3 and 1 to be swapped means 1 3 
this will also give the same sum and you will also get the same output but since we have given a note that we have to consider only the first swap so we are going to print only 1 and 3 from the first index so now we will take our third test case so here we have the 3 cross 4 matrices so the sum is 408 and here the sum is 472 and we are going to swap each index and check the sum whether they are equal or not now we have to find the sum and for this test case if we swap the all index position also we are not going to get the sum to be equal to the sum of the matrix 2 so our output will be minus 1 since sum cannot be made equal Get clarifications for any program and clear your program errors effortlessly by using our Instagram page. Programming made simple here. We have mentioned our Insta ID in this video description. Now let us implement our program. First we will get the number of rows and columns. And then we will get the matrices 1 and 2. So row in range R, then we will get the matrix 2. So after that, now we have to check whether the sum of matrix 1 is equal to the sum of matrix 2. So here we use a function called get sum, we will define it later. If the sum of matrix 1 is equal to equal to the sum of matrix 2 means we have to print minus 1 and exit so if the exit is not executed then that is if the sum is not equal means for row in range R that is we are going to swap now for column in range C so for swapping the matrix of row column comma matrix 2 of row column equal to the matrix 2 of row column and matrix 1 of row column <clears throat> so now we have swapped and after swapping if their sum is equal that is sum of matrix 1 is equal to equal to the sum of matrix 2 means we are going to print the swapped integers that is matrix 1 of row column and matrix 2 of row column and use the exit so here we have swapped and make the sum equal and after that again we'll have the statements and we'll use print minus 1 because if also after swapping we are not getting the same sum means we have to print minus 1 so now we'll define the function get sum and this will have a variable called the sum of matrix equal to 0 and we'll iterate over that is for row in matrix the sum of matrix plus equal to sum of row so sum is a function here and then Finally, we'll return the sum of matrix. So now let us execute our program. We'll pass our first test case. So yes, we have got the correct out output that is 1 and 3 that has been swapped to get the same sum. 
now we'll pass our second test case so here we have got minus 1 as the output as you can see if any number is swapped also we are not getting the same sum now we'll pass our third test case so here we have got minus 1 as the output as you can see they have same sum our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video